Hey, how's it going? This is Josh. I want to show you a basic tip that is overlooked. It's called the nudge feature and uh, it's popular in most DAWs. I think most DAWs have a nudge uh, capability. I'm using Cubase. This feature called the nudge is where you can go outside on the project window and I can be really precise on how I move things around, kind of like a word processor. You know, when you're typing a paper, like back, um, you know, if you think back when you're a student, or maybe you're still a student, and uh, you're, you know, pushing uh, words left, or right, or you can kind of drag and move things around. That, that's just what that basically is. It's the nudge is like the word processing functions. Uh, inside of your music DAW. So in this case, um, I can do it either inside the key editor and I can move these around. I can lengthen, I can, you know, um, one way lengthen it this way, I can lengthen it the other way as you see in here, and so on. And uh, this also goes out here too. You can do the exact same thing uh, with your regions. So I have uh, this feature that I'm going to show you how to get it set up. This will save your wrists because I don't have to go here and drag all the time, hold down that mouse and, you know, um, over time develop things like carpal tunnel. So uh, th this is a, a, a nice, a simple trick, but um, I, I think it's overlooked a lot. So that's why I want to show all of you guys. So before we start, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Um, press the like button, share it with your friends if uh, you feel like this video is helpful. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. There are a few things, a few uh, moving parts, I should say, when you are getting the nudge to work. First off, you want to be in grid mode. Also, you want to change this section. Normally, it's around bars or beats. Just let's change that to the use quantize. And then the last thing is uh, your your actual grid mode um, um, durations. Uh, this is a bar. All of that can be selected by hand or by, uh, if you want to be quicker about it, you can assign these to a shortcut key. And so I'm going to start there. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up my key command editor. And let's go to the duration. So for instance, if I press that, okay, this is the quantized category inside Cubase, and I have it set. Uh, so um, Alt Shift one is set to the 32nd note, uh, two is set to 16th, and so on. Um, I have these numbers set in a particular way because I'm used to notation software like Sibelius or Dorico um, and I have it set a certain way too so I'm kind of standardizing it myself but um, you know you can set it to any number or shortcut key that makes sense to you. Let's go ahead and test that out now. So I am going to go here and do um, Alt Shift 8. Okay, you'll see how the grid's changed a little bit and also over here, that number changed. Let's do Alt Shift 2. Okay, that's 16th now, so you see how those grids are showing up. And if I zoom even more, uh, you'll see I can go along that. Um, let's go back, okay. So I'm just gonna go and select all these that I have assigned. Okay, great. Now, uh, for instance, if I go 16th notes and I wanted to move this clip over to the left, I can do so by nudging it to the left or nudging it to the right, okay, by a 16th note. Now, if I wanna go a quarter beat or crotch it, as they say in Europe, then I'll go like this and go a quarter note left or to the right and vice uh, versa with uh, bars. So that is a nudge item that's very uh, common to use. Again, you can nudge these and do a 16th note to the left, or uh, oh, actually that's a quarter note. Here's a 16th note, 16th note to the left, uh, and then to the right. Okay, you'll, you'll find that that's really useful when I uh, go something like this and I go into all my MIDI and I am going to just want, let's say I want to move 
this first note, all of those notes, and I just go like this, and I can move that to the left, and so on. Okay, so let me show you where you can do that. So um, I'm gonna go back into my key editor, key commands window. So um, uh, if you don't know how to sh uh, assign a key command, um, I do have a separate uh, video on that, so you can check that out on how to assign things. Just to save some time though, I'm assuming that you do know, so I'm just going to find that. Um, yeah, let's just, you can, you can either, you know, go and select it here, or you can type in nudge. And there's a whole nudge folder in Cubase. Um, so let, let's find how we can nudge things to the left, nudge things to the right. So control out left is uh, nudging it to the left. Um, now there's also, uh, besides the right, you can nudge down and you can nudge up. Okay, so let's let's see how what that means. So if I'm nudging up, um, to a different track, I can go like that and nudge it up, or I can nudge it down. So that's what that means. Um, let's go to another feature. Another feature of the nudge is um, where you end left and you end right. So what that is uh, essentially meaning is, let's say I want to extend this to the right more, okay? I'm keeping everything else the same spot, but I want to match that to, let's say, where that is. Okay, so now I got that matched up. Uh, that is, uh, I, I just uh, assigned that to end right out. So that's, I'm holding down the out key and I'm going to the right. Okay, these are custom assignments, so you do have to assign these. Now, um, the same thing goes if I do out left. Now on the end, it's contracting, okay? So I can yeah, contract this. I can even take out these notes if I wanted to, right? And this is all being uh, nudged or, uh, yeah, using that uh, end left tool and nudging it only by a 16 note at a time. So um, I am going to, let's change that to a bar. So you see how now it's one, one. Now I can, I can also extend that to the right, extend that to the left, all with the keyboard, very, useful. Now I can do the same thing with the start. So right here it says start left, start right. Okay, so all I'm doing here is I'm holding down now the control key, which is on the bottom left of my keyboard. As you'll notice how that, if that makes sense to you, um, all the stuff that I want to uh, do with the left side of a clip, I can do that easily. And then out would be the right side. Okay, so that's why we have it assigned that way. Uh, again, this not only extends out from the project side, but also inside of a MIDI key editor. So again, I can do that. Or if I wanted to be more precise and I want to um, make it uh, go faster or uh, farther out, I'll just use my keyboard and do quantize. So um, I'm gonna quantize link this so that the length and my quantize categories are the same. And then now I can nudge that the same way. So I can do quarter notes or I can do it the other way if I wanna go backwards and, and extend it from the starting point out, I can do it with my control key that way. Um, and out is the other way. If that makes sense. So all of that is uh, happening in real time, uh, just using keyboard stuff. Again, I haven't really used any mouse whatsoever. You can do the mouse like so if you wanted to, um, and you know, and that's not bad. I just think it's a little inefficient. And over time, if you do that repetitively over and over, that can hurt your wrists. So I hope that will help us become better and more efficient composers down the road, um, especially if we are thinking about doing this long term. All right. Well, that's my tip for today. I hope that was helpful. I will talk to you later. Till next time, take care.